Nigerians have come out and are protesting, saying, honestly, sincerely speaking, democracy is dead in Nigeria. There is no way we can keep quiet about it. And guess who we projected? Supreme Court Chief Justice and Einik Mahmoud, okay, Tessimeni, and others who should uphold justice. But I tell you, people's children have been promised to be put in very, very high position. Different things have been done in such a way that, you know, these people have been promised whatever they could be promised, and they would rather take those things rather than stand for humanity and do what is right. Today, we have seen things go from bad to worse. Nigeria is in that space, is in that place right now, where the people are wondering what next to do. INEC has become a laughing stock. Yes, INEC has successfully thrown away everything that has to do with integrity. Today in Nigeria, democracy is dead. Democracy is dead and gone. There is an online memory that will forever remain for the 2023 election the death of Nigerian democracy. And last Saturday, the election, three of season election that took place in Nigeria showed how more dangerous these people have perfected their art and plans to destroy Nigerians' integrity. There is no election in the country whatsoever. Democracy is totally out of the picture. The appeal court, the Supreme Court, all play part in ensuring that Nigerians' Democracy is totally destroyed. The initiative was brought in and so many people have continued to speak out. Nigerians and diaspora and much more have come out to say enough is enough. We cannot continue like this. There is a lot going on at the moment. The executive have taken over the judiciary so much so that a lot of persons, a lot of people do not see any opportunity for a real change in the country. People are no longer, Nigerians have no clear court, Nigerians have no clear court uh, interest or trust in the judiciary system because the judiciary system of the country has been totally taken over by unsuspicious elements who have decided to destroy Nigeria for themselves. This has continued to generate a lot of reactions with many people wondering, how do we go from here? What are the next line of action and what do we need to do? The trust for the system is totally eradicated. This is a nation where we came in thinking Nigeria will be sorted and preserved. However, this is now the new terrain. This is the new appeal and this is the new thing that these people have gotten into, taking over the very trust of the people. It is sad, it is unbelievable, but Nigeria today has become the worst in election practices. Other nations, even African nations, have continued to do as much as they can. However, in Nigeria, we have gotten drug bureau, we've gotten lords, okay? People who know how to, not only in the shores of Nigeria, all across the nations, they know very much how to successfully erode and manipulate things. Another ones, okay, another ones that are in charge of Nigeria. They are not the ones that are in charge of Nigeria. Unthinkable things, unthinkable thing has been done, you know, with Nigeria's uh, judiciary system. People have gone above and beyond. And whatever they are doing now, I can tell you for a, for, for a fact that Nigeria election system is totally, completely gone. And until we all begin to rise up, you will see this justice and these guys who are supposed to be speaking up are the very said same people who are destroying the very, the, very, uh, the very essence of this nation. Most of them have no clear cut you know, uh, reason why Nigeria should be better. And all they do, sadly, is for themselves. These are the people who should be mounting and ensuring that the right things are done. But what do they do? They go about destroying the very trust of the people, making sure that Nigeria has no say. And the country has become more than you can ever imagine. A lot of things have happened. A lot of people, a lot of matters are now, you know, currently, you know, causing a lot of problem. Justices that should be the ones standing for the people are the very said same ones who are destroying the very trust of the people. How do we go from here? What do we need to do? How do we ensure 
that the truth is revealed no matter what. The very people we have trust in, the very last hope of the common man saying, you know what, you know, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, and ensure that, uh, you know, the right things are done are the very same people who are destroying, who are destroying this nation. The very same people who are destroying this nation. No clear cut, you know, uh, no clear cut definition on what, where we are going. We have continued to see things. Okay. We have continued to see things go from bad to worse. And if you speak, they say you are speaking too much. Yeah. If you speak, they say you are, you are speaking too much. This is what is happening now. This is what is going on. And every single one of us are just watching as Tinubu continue to, you know, uh, the giant of Africa continue to show his giantism. Tinubu, the, the, the corrupt drug pusher, you know, as, as now Nigerian uh, president, you know, and it's, it's, it's evident to everybody that this nation, if we, you know, whatever we can do, if it's for you to pray for this nation, please pray. By all means, pray. If it's for you to speak out, please speak out. Because the internet today is keeping record of everything these guys are doing. Imagine Tinubu wants to collect 40% from universities. And the, the money they are, you know, the money that they are even uh, having in the first place is not enough. Yet you want to collect, you know, you want to collect uh, 40%. Yeah? The money is not even enough. You take it and you 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 currently now you 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 are you 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 have said okay we have removed the money. What are you removing? What exactly are you removing? This is what is going on, and everybody is just watching. Everybody is watching, and so if we want they want the truth to be manifested, every one of us will have to okay will have to rise up. Every one of us will have to rise up and ensure that the right things are done. These are the people who come and they, they, they tell us about leadership. And guess what? They don't have an iota of leadership. You want to correct what you did not even put, what you did not even do in the first place. How do we, how do we, how do we sort out most of these issues? And what is the next line of action? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? Nigerians, this is the time that everybody will need to rise up. This is the time. This is the day. We can't continue to be quiet. We can't continue to just watch unfold our arms and be quiet. It is what it is. It is what it is. Leave us a comment. Lovely people, you can see for yourself that it is time to advance. It is time to make real tenable progress so that we can make, you know, we can get to where we need to get to. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.